Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I want to go over pretty quickly problem one in module seven, assignment one, about the expected monetary cost and the expected value of perfect information. I've set up the problem this way, and remember, you need to identify what your actions are and what your events are. And then, based on that, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven actions and one, two, three, four events. So we use the PHSTAT tool and decision making expected monetary value tool and we just put in the number of events and the number of actions. Events are four, actions are seven. We want the expected opportunity loss. We don't need measures variation. I'm going to click OK it will generate this table which you will need to fill out. Remember that things that are blue you have to key in, input into the cells, either static numbers or formulas. The things that are yellow are automatically calculated. These things in white are intermediate values but they're also calculated once the blue is filled in. Down at the bottom is the expected value of perfect information for each of these scenarios. So let's go back. I will show you what I've done here is I've colored in the meat of the table. These are the intersections of actions and events. And that's what we need to figure out. What is the payout that belongs in these intersections here? The way I remember what I have to put in there, because there's a lot going on, I look down here in what PHDET gives me, the expected monetary value. I'm going to double click that. And you can see it's a sum product. They're multiplying the probabilities of each of these events times a payout underneath that particular action for each of these events. So that's a big clue there. This cell, which is the intersection of an action, what I bid, and an event, has to be the income or profit that I'll get if I bid this amount and am successful assuming this event happens. Because you remember the profit is what we bid minus the project cost. And that changes depending upon which event happens here. So the way I do it, I just, and you can do it more ways than this, I just multiply the probability of winning the $2.4 million bid and if I, my payout, my profit, if, if I win that bid, is 2.4 minus 600,000. And the probability of getting that profit is 0 0.009. That's what the formula I put in there. And I just replicate that for each of these based on that bid and the probability of winning that bid and what the project cost would be under that event that gives me my payouts and once I get those everything else populates and I will hopefully show you I'm going to copy all that and go over here to this table and if I do this right I'm going to paste special and you can see everything downstream populates so I hope that helps